What is going on, guys? Today we are looking at Philippe or Luis Felipe moments. To be honest, he looks okay. A pretty standard centre back. Obviously, a player moments at the very minimum. 85 uh, pace, 87 defending, 85 physical. He does just cost you one 85 rated team, 75 chem. Nothing really too fancy there um, in terms of the SBC. And it is just one, so we don't get no packs back. But 11 players, it's not awful. But the only problem I've got is that there's so many good centre-backs now. Like, honestly, if you have completed even half of the SBCs for centre-backs, you're going to be more than capable of having a top-tier team. So, whether I think he's absolutely worth it, we are just waiting on Footbin to load his card just so I can show you the kind of difference in Serie A centre-backs that we've got and all of that good stuff. But a three-star skill move, four-star weak foot, high, well, medium high on the attack into defensive work rates, 6-2 right-footed. Uh, we've got long throw-in. Not really going to use that. Uh, sprint speed, 87. Okay, that's pretty good. Good acceleration at 82 for a centre-back. We've got 86 short pass, 77 long. Again, nothing too fancy, but it is a solid stat nonetheless. Good agility balance. I think for a centre-back, that again isn't bad in comparison to obviously the 90-plus centre-backs that we've got now, especially somebody like Varane, Maldini as both SBCs. Then you've obviously had Ruben Diaz and Marquinhos as Team of the Year centre-backs. Again, they are very far and few with everybody's team, but they are available if you if you don't, do know what I mean. Good reactions. Composure on the low end, and that is a real big factor for me that I think is a shame that they've kind of let it go that low. On his normal card, it's 58. So from a 78 to an 87, it's a good amount of composure. It is more than normal in terms of what they've given. But again, not having 80 on your centre-back at the very, very minimum is not great at all. Good defending and physical throughout. I think that, again, is absolutely fine. Like I say, it's just a shame that he's just very, very bog standard for the centre-backs now. The only good thing, obviously, with the nation, you've got a very solid nation there um, in terms of uh, kind of like team he plays for. I don't think there's a huge amount of players, but we will have a look into it. I know there is a Milinkovic-Savic. We have had a Felipe Anderson and obviously a Mobley, a Mobile, however you want to pronounce it. I think I say it wrong, to be honest, probably. But in terms of an 85-rated SBC... That, let's have a look at Footbin. So we will have a look and go over in a second, but we will have a look first and we'll go for somebody like Drogba. So I'm pretty sure, oh no, that's the lone Drogba. If we go into Drogba's normal one, I'm pretty sure he's got an 85 rated team that is required. It just depends if you need a team of the week. No, he doesn't. So let's go to Eto instead then. That one should definitely have um, an 85 rated team. Let's flip all the cards. So, 85, one into player. It's coming in at 100k. Obviously, with different SBCs, the price will vary. Um, I feel like it's a little bit up at the moment with so many mid-icon and mid-to-prime icons available. So, I would go with fodder that's untradeable as much as possible. I think one SBC is definitely enough. Whether they could have dropped that to an 84 might have been a bit cheap. But let's just quickly check Footbin and show you what the centre-backs you could get. So, we're over on Footbin now, as we can see. Don't quite get the name in, but we, we will deal with that. In terms of, obviously, his Serie A partnerships that he could go with, you obviously got Koulibaly, who's just had an upgrade. Um, Kea, I, I don't know how to pronounce the AE there, but 90 rated nonetheless. You've got Delit, another Koulibaly right at the start of the game. Skriniar's signature, Bastoni in form, Cordoba hero, Benussi. You've got so many, and even this guy, to be fair, this guy looks good, 50k. That's what I mean. You, you've got so many good cards, and even this guy, let's have a look at his composure. That's what I mean. 83. Uh, passing, obviously, a little bit weaker. You've got the same sort of defense because as soon as you whack an anchor on, you won't be able to tell too much of a difference. Brazilian in himself as well. I, I just think, for me, it's just a bit of a lackluster player moments, personally. They, again, they could have gone with much, much better options in there. But that being said, I, I think he's he's cheap enough to say, yes, you could grind him out of untradeables quite quite comfortably, to be honest. But for me, I just think he's a no-go. Unless, A, you have a Brazilian team that re really, really, really needs a centre-back and you don't have any of the following in Marquinhos, any version of him. Obviously, Militao, like I say, this guy. Um, then you've got Diego Carlos, Dante, Felipe. He, there's just too many options, I think, right now. Far too many options to say that 
you couldn't have a centre back right now that that would beat him. I feel like a lot of people have centre backs. Even if you just went gold, Marquinhos in Kimpembe, I feel like that's a better deal than going for this guy. Personally, you may I may be wrong. You may be a Lazio fan. Again, not a big fan of the badge. Really, really, uh, kind of annoyed that they've taken away them. But for me, I just think the SBC is coming in at an okay price. I really can't argue for one team. But I just think the card's very average in comparison to everybody else. So let me know if you're going to be completing him. Personally, I probably would miss out on this one. Unless, like I say, you are desperate for him in your team, a squad, a club, whatever. Bar from that, make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.